Well, hello to all my machine embroidery friends. This is the instructional video for the October Kiss Sew Along. This month we are making the Christmas tree hanger. And in this instructional video, I'll be showing you the stitch out of the middle panel and how to join all your panels together to get a completed Christmas tree hanger. I highly recommend you follow the photograph written instructions that's provided with your purchase in conjunction with this video tutorial. And if you haven't yet, go jump onto the October Kiss Facebook group where you will find the 30% discount code on this design and all the monthly competition rules and um, guidelines. If you enjoy this video tutorial on the Christmas tree hanger, please remember to like the video, subscribe and share with your friends. If you're new to Sweet Pea, welcome. We're an online in the hoop design company and you can check us out at swpea.com. And welcome back to all my Sweet Pea regulars. Enjoy the video. First off, let me show you how to make the tree middle. Hoop up two layers of soluble stabilizer in the hoop. The woven variety works the best. This stabilizer not only provides support during the embroidery process, but also dissolves easily when added to water. Now load the file onto your machine and use applique scissors with a sharp, fine tip to trim the batting and fabric. Stitch the place in line for batting now, making sure to follow the instruction sequence accurately. Place the batting and consider adding an optional cutaway or bag stiffener positioned underneath the batting on top of the hoop. This cutaway or stiffener adds stability to your finished embroidery piece, making it more durable and capable of holding its shape. Now stitch the batting down and optional cutaway, securing them in place within the hoop. And then trim the excess. Refer to the provided diagram for the remaining steps in creating your tree middle. Stitch the place in line for section A. Place fabric A right side up on top of the hoop, ensuring it covers the place in line accurately. Then stitch down the fabric and then trim the excess, leaving only what's necessary for the seam. Next, stitch the place in line for section B. Here you'll use fabric A's horizontal or diagonally trimmed edge as a reference for placing fabric B. Position fabric B wrong side up with the excess fabric towards the top of the hoop, then stitch down to secure it. Fold the fabric over, holding it taut, and then stitch down again. Trim away any excess fabric, ensuring that your seams remain neat and tidy. Repeat this flip and fold process for sections C through G, using fabric C through G respectively. These steps add layers and dimension to your tree middle. Now it's time to embroider the quilting on sections A through G in sequential order. This quilting step not only adds a decorative touch, but also reinforces the fabric layers, giving your tree middle a quilted texture. Follow the design to embroider the tree decorations as indicated in the provided diagram. These decorations will bring your tree to life with charm and personality.
and bro to the tops of the baubles. Remove the hoop from the machine and flip it over so that the wrong side of the hoop is facing up. Then place Fabric H right side up on top of the wrong side of the hoop, covering all the stitching, then secure it in place with tape. Return the hoop to the machine and stitch the fabric down, ensuring that it's smooth and wrinkle free. Once the embroidery is complete, remove the hoop from your machine and carefully trim all the excess fabric, leaving just 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Then return the hoop to the machine one final time to stitch the satin stitch around the panel. Be sure to match your bobbin thread to your top thread. After completing the satin stitch, remove your work from the hoop and trim the excess stabilizer. This final step will reveal your beautifully embroidered tree middle panel. Set it aside and repeat these steps until all your panels are complete. In the second part of this instructional video, I will show you how to complete your Christmas tree hanger. Once you have completed the stitch out of all three panels on your embroidery machine, it's time to dissolve the soluble stabilizer. Do this by submerging the panels in a bowl of lukewarm water. Then allow them to soak until the stabilizer no longer feels sticky to the touch. Once the stabilizer has completely dissolved, carefully remove the panels from the water. Then lay the panels flat on a clean dry surface, ideally on a towel or paper towels to absorb any excess water. Now repeat these steps for all three tree hanger panels. Then tie your panels together using ribbon or jump rings. Choose a ribbon that complements the colours and theme of your tree hanger. Then measure and cut the ribbon into the desired length for your tree hanger. The length will depend on how far apart you want your hanger panels to be from each other. Leave some extra length at both ends for tying knots or bows. Now tie a decorative bow for a more ornate finish. Adjust the spacing between the panels as needed to achieve the desired arrangement.
Your Christmas tree hanger is now ready to be displayed. Hang it on your Christmas tree, a hook or a doorknob or any other location you want to add a festive touch to your holiday decor. Well there you have it, the instructional video on how to make your very own Christmas tree hanger. For more beautiful Christmas designs like this one, make sure you head over to sweepea.com. That is S-W-P-E-A.com. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting content and instructional videos like this one. That's it for me this month. I'll see you next time.